Welcome to our studies on prayer. You know, Jesus said a few things about prayer to his disciples. One thing he said was this. When you pray, don't heap up empty phrases as the Gentiles do, for they think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask him. And then he goes on to teach them to pray what we call the Lord's Prayer. But you know, it's pretty strange what Jesus says. It almost begs the question, why pray at all? I mean, you know, don't use lots of words like the Gentiles because your father already knows what you're going to ask. I mean, why ask at all if that's the way God is? And if God's so good, and as Christians we say that he is, and if he knows all that we need, and Jesus told us that he does, and that he even perhaps knows our needs better than we do ourselves, then why is it necessary to ask him anything? I mean, why doesn't simply God ensure that we get all that we need? Well, I think there is an answer, and I think it's this. What if God knows that the thing we need most is actually to pray? What if God's main object, his um, you know, intent in having us pray, isn't the supply of those needs that we ask, but the supply of our greatest need, our most endless need, our need for himself? What if the good thing about all the other needs we have is that they drive us to God. You know, I think about the story of the prodigal son. You know, he took his inheritance, went off into a far land and eventually spent it all and there was a famine and he ended up working at a farm, you know, feeding the pigs and he was so hungry he wanted to eat the pig food and he thought about his you know, servants back at his father's place eating better than him. You could say that his need, his hunger drove him to go and return back home. And it did. But you know what his greatest need was? It wasn't the meal he was going to get. It was the restored relationship with his father. So if that's the way God works, that he asks us to pray, not so he can give us what he already you know, knows we're going to ask for and we need, but so he can give us the thing which is most good himself. What do you think about that? You've captured my opinion.